Hello, you're watching What's Hot London, and this is Politically Hot. This morning, seven MPs have resigned from the Labour Party to form a new group of independent MPs called the Independent Group. These MPs, Chaka Amuna, Luciana Berger, Chris Leslie, Angela Smith, Mike Grapes, Gavin Shuker, and Anne Kofi, each seem to have found their own reason to quit. For Luciana Berger, it was anti-Semitism. I cannot remain in a party that I have today come to the sickening conclusion is institutionally anti-Semitic. For Chris Leslie, it was Brexit. The evidence of Labour's betrayal on Europe is now visible for all to see. However, if one thing unites them, it's an ideology that puts them to the right of the current Labour Party. Now, the new group isn't forming a new party yet, but they are open to the defection of other MPs from across the political spectrum to help them build a new politics. We've taken the first step in leaving the old tribal politics behind and we, are, and we invite others who share our political values to do so too. If that happens, many on the left fear a repeat of the Labour split of 1981, which saw a breakaway group called the SDP split the Labour vote and keep Margaret Thatcher in power. Partly due to that fear, the response to this has been mixed, to say the least. Many Labour supporters have decided to attack these MPs, effectively saying good riddance, instead of taking their grievances seriously. It's clear to see from their faces how hard a decision this was to take, and to treat them like traitors, rather than tackle the issues which are ripping the party apart, seems foolish. The Labour Party has always encompassed a broad range of views. But to purge the more centre-leaning MPs from the party could exacerbate these divisions and help create the new party which many on the left so fear. Should that happen, then Jeremy Corbyn's risky position on Brexit could come back to haunt him. For instance, 80% of the Labour membership oppose Brexit, but the Labour leadership are going through with it because many of their key target seats for the next election voted to leave. Jeremy believes that whatever harms Brexit does, it would be worth it in order to bring in a Labour government with a progressive agenda. But with a new party on offer that stands against Brexit, there are huge questions about how much of the membership would stick around. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. For more Politically Hot, make sure you subscribe to What's Hot London and hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications every time we upload a new video. Till next time, I'll see you later.